I blame you, Fido. Hello everyone, what's up? Welcome back to the Month of Frights. Today on the agenda is Into the Dead. Yes, it's actually an iOS game slash Android game. It's a mobile game. It's not the most complex in the world, but it's, it's still pretty charming. At least in my opinion. What you gotta do is you gotta obviously avoid the zombies. No problem, right? <laughs> You just gotta hold out as much as you can. Now at first it seems like it's just an avoid the zombies game, but eventually you do get weapons and things like that. If you can find them. And I think you saw already, collect a weapon from a crate. That's one of my goals. I need to find a weapon here. If I can get away with it. But in the meantime, you just gotta avoid the zombies and try to survive, you know? It may seem simple, and it is conceptually, but it gets complex. Pretty fast. So you will learn the hard way. I actually tried to get the second one, but I don't have a high enough iOS version. I could get it, but that would leave me unable to jailbreak, and uh, no thank you. Maybe I'll try it out for Android or something. I mean, I do have blue stacks. I can always just try it out for that, but right now the first one's good. Just to see where it came from. Corny, into the cornfield. Oh boy. Yeah, jumping over the fence leaves you a little bit discombobulated, but not so much that you can't defend yourself. Okay, here we go. Yeah, I got a little bit discombobulated from that truck. Eh, 1600, not bad. You survived over 1600. Not too shabby. Let's try again. Weapons can be found in supply crates. You have unlocked a new weapon. Cool. I'm happy for that. Yeah, get into the dead too. Fast unlock. Cool. Collect a weapon from a crate. Use a perk. View weapons of the armory. Okay, let's play. I could start with a pistol if I wanted to, but... Eh. Ooh, start with a companion. Yeah, there's a dog that randomly takes down zombies for you. Let's do that. How do you use weapons? Okay. Go, my pet! Use a perk. Hmm. Yes, at complete random, collect a weapon from a crate. Right, I gotta realize that if I go towards the center of the screen... Ah, uh, that's better. When the, do when the dog runs out ahead, that means it's pretty safe for me. To just follow the dog, you know? Because the dog will always get a free kill. And the zombies only, at this stage, only require one shot with the pistol. So I could just keep shooting zombies at random. If I wanted to. But maybe I should try to hold off until I actually need it, you know? I say that as I randomly shoot because I didn't realize just how sensitive it was. Huh, there are crows overhead. They actually make it really obvious where the weapons are, don't they? I think they give you a lot of hints. Good boy. I mean, that zombie wasn't even in front of me, but good boy. Good boy. Now that zombie was in front of me. There you go, boy. Good boy. Oh, there goes that. <laughs> There's my grave. New distance record. Julio. And the zombies are popping up out of the ground. You gotta love the dog perk. It's the gift that keeps on giving. No touching. Run for over 2,000 without bumping into any zombies. Hopler. Into the forest. No problem. No prab. Can't you see I'm running at supersonic speed? 
Yeah, they're sort of textured, but it probably works to the game's favor that they're basically black silhouettes. Your imagination takes over more, so... Ah, oh, crap, that was my bad. I got a little too close to that one. Not bad, though. I survived over 2,000. Bitchin. Oh. Let's just view the weapons in the armory, I guess. Where do I go for that? Where's the armory? Where's the friggin' armory? Next unlock, chainsaw. Cool. The more crates perk. Okay. Oh, I see. Complete mission set 10 to unlock. You can go with massacre, hardcore, flashlight. Right. Okay, how do I go into the armory? I honestly do- oh. Maybe if I actually read. Yeah, that tells you something. You can buy stuff. Enable notifications? No. I viewed- okay. I didn't view the actual weapons. Yep, look at that. You want to see all this stuff that you can choose to buy with real world money? Wait, what? But, okay, I guess you gotta look at all of them. Woo, isn't that great? Isn't that just so tempting? Really? Did I actually have to tap on the pistol or something? I don't get it. It said view weapons in the armory, I'm doing it. How much further do I have to go with that to unlock that? You have to actually tap on one? Ooh, that's so tempting. Oh, look at that. No thanks, uh, Scrappy is fine. Huh. Cute, though. Anyway. I looked at the armory. But I guess that doesn't count. Fine, skip. Let's just go ahead and skip. Because it doesn't want to actually do it. 250 meters in one run. Okay, kill two zombies in one run. Use two perks in one run. Start with, let's start with a pistol and start with a companion. That'll be good. And that way I'm using two companion- two perks. Now I just gotta two shoot two zombies. Funny how I've got over 2,000 meters and one of the- one of the actual goals just do 250 meters. This ain't too hard yet. I think I'm progressing faster than the game expected me to. You know? Oh boy. You gotta time it right too. But it does insta-kill zombies, so that's good. From Vroom, it's time to rip and tear. And fight like hell. Oops. Well, why did that use up two of them? That was weird. Oh boy. Gotta be careful. Uh, doggo? I gotta say, he didn't appear to be wanting to attack anything. Kinda weird that it uses up two at once for some reason. Not really sure what that's about. Oh boy. Love how the fence seems to obstruct you just as much either way. Oh boy. Whoop. Well, Whoop, well, so much for that. At least I got my goals and that's what counts. The goals are what keeps it from being too repetitive. No thank you. I'm not interested in that. Now we get a shotgun. Time for the shotgun, baby. Yeah. Trial for the dead. Use a full perk loadout. Kill five zombies in one run. Five to go. Reach 500 meters in one run. I think I can do that. Let's boom them all. Boom them all, baby. Completed. Use a full perk loadout. Well, that was easy. Kill five zombies in one run. I mean, I could get myself killed right now, and I think I will. 
Bouncy, bouncy, bouncy. Bo bounce off of three different zombies in three seconds. I sure am getting... Those, aren't I? And next. Exclusive, complete, compete with your friends. Uh, no, thank you. Let's just boost it. Mission three. Yeah, you can tell this is very much a game made for spending, at least to some extent. Well, at least it's pretty fun. It's not bad. It's different. And I don't think I need to use any perks. That just takes up my money. Nobody wants to spend the money. Oops. Glance off a zombie. Okay. Well, that definitely worked. What's that? Oh, there's my grave. Oh, you found Jimmy's grave. I got a double bear. I got a double pleasure, baby. Double your pleasure, my friend. Very nice. There is definitely a sinking issue, but it, you probably won't even notice it. You probably won't even notice the sinking issue because I will have fixed it. In post. You know, like this. Boom. Boom. It's little things like that that allow you to sync up the audio and video much easier. Just gotta give a little cue to when something's supposed to happen. And down I go. No, thank you. I don't need to multiply the coins or anything. Your best. Wanna keep Jimmy's Cartel Twins? No, thank you. No. Oh. Friggin' pop-up ads. Anyway. Well, I needed to- I need to enter a cornfield, so I guess I should probably actually try to stay alive this time. You know? Luckily, I've got my little furry companion here to help me with that. I get one free kill every so often. And I like that. Like right there. Whenever I know he's gonna go for one, that's just an area that's safe. Relatively speaking, of course. Okay, here we go. And I've got some saving grace right here, too. Just gotta pay attention here. Go on, Fido. Whichever one looks like it's in my way the most. Take it out. Take the shot. Doesn't matter which one, Fido. Does not matter which one. Okay, that, I guess so. That one wasn't really in my way. Oh boy, that was a close one. And there goes my ammo. Real sad. Interesting, though. Okay, that one was genuinely helpful. Looking at the background, it's interesting how nondescript it is. Just to make it more... It does do a good job at subtly introducing things through the fog. It's a very simple background that works well for it. At least for the draw distance. Yep, and down I go. But I got my goal, so that's what I care about. At least right now. Oh. Oh, no. I did not mean to do that. No, thank you. I will rate the game on my own time. Trial of the Dead, I guess. Cool. Okay, sweet. Free trial. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll play now. Why not? That's fine. I mean, I'm just trying it out. It's not like this is a game that I play to an excessive amount on my own, you know? Make it through one cornfield, jump three fences, jump... Kill ten zombies in one run, ten to go. Cool. Brighter light, more lightning. Huh. We'll start with companion, just for now. Ooh, you can actually see them better. That's nice. That's actually a perk. 
Very nice. This mode allows you to appreciate the models better. Oh crap. Oh, so much for that. Can't even say I was doing that on purpose this time. Anyway. I know. Jump three fences, kill ten zombies in one run. Huh. Battery boost, maybe I could use that. Yeah, I'll go with a companion for now. I still think it's nice that you can actually appreciate the textures. Because these zombies are textured, you just can't see it normally all that well. At least the dog is more aggressive about taking them out. Probably because there's a lot more of them. I mean, holy crap. Look at that. There's so many of them. There's so freaking many of them. It's hard to get through. You have to take glances off them just to get by. Oh boy. But how would I even use a weapon anyway? You have to use the flashlight, don't you? Wait, are there two dogs now? There are, there are two dogs now. That's how this works. You get more companions, that's nice. Kill ten zombies in one run. Okay, cool. Julio. Jeez, everything is so dark. Oh, what do you expect? What do you honestly expect here, kiddo? Oh boy. I better keep going that direction until I can find an opening. Just gotta stay alive any way you can, you know? Until you can't go any further. That's all you can do. New high score. Cool. But at least I beat one of them. Oh, no you don't. If you're gonna force me to watch, at least don't force my viewers to watch, you know what I'm saying? Okay, next. Reward, 1,000. Huh. Cool. Okay, I almost jumped three fences, make it through one cornfield. Maybe I'll make it through one cornfield. Brighter light. Ooh, that, that, would, that would actually be good. That would be better for the graphics. Show off the graphics a little better. I'm kind of into that idea. Because it'll make it a better video for you guys. For one. There we go. Bring on the meat baby. The meat grinder. Okay, where are the fences? I need to hop some fences here. I haven't even seen a cornfield yet, let alone have made it through one. I mean, are you kidding me? What, is he got nuts? Only 38 coins. Not doing so good, am I? Not especially so. Let's try this again, huh? Yeah, I, I have enough coins for now, so that's something. Oh boy. Okay, I guess that counts as a fence. A tree, tree trunk, sure, that counts as a fence. Totally. Oh boy. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. At least the lightning flashes help. Oh boy. There we go. That's better. That's my good free furry friend. Good boy. There, see? Where there is no opportunity, one will be carved in front of you. Thank you kindly. New distance record, too. There's that freaking cornfield already. I don't see one anywhere. I mean, granted, I had the light off, but still. Crazy, isn't it? Pretty crazy, if you, if you ask me. I'm in a forest and I don't see any cornfield. Definitely arranged differently. Oh boy. Oh, uh, I was so close. Wasn't it? At least I got a new distance record, so that's cool. Okay, new high score. Great. 
you survived this long. Trial of the Dead. You know what, I think I'm gonna go back to normal. Just because. The Head Start perk, okay, fair enough. Just to not get too repetitive here, let's go back to normal. Wait, didn't I, did I go back to normal? Classic. I wanna go back to classic now. Oh, I see, that, that wasn't dependent to that. No wonder. It, it makes sense now. Of course. Getting through a cornfield is so much easier in the normal mode. I just assumed that it was specifically head trial. The, the trial run thing, the flashlight mode. I thought the perks were specific to that. Clearly they were not. No wonder I was having trouble. There weren't even any cornfields there, I don't think. If there is a cornfield in that mode, it's not going to be for a while. Not worth it. Go on, Fido. There we go. Eat up, boy. Let's oh, just eat up, boy. Okay, 10% remaining. Crap, that could be a problem. Yeah, that's going to be a problem, all right. Um, I might not be playing this for much longer then. Because it might just randomly shut off. Who knows? Hopefully it'll last, but... I'm not gonna have super high expectations. Because sometimes when this iPad gets to... Like 10% and lower, it'll just randomly shut off for no reason. It's not how it should be, where it gets to 1% and then it actually lingers a while and then it turns off. Oh, well, it's just random. Oh boy. Okay, I just barely made it. Cool. Make it through one cornfield. Took a while to update, made me wonder. Anyway. Coolio. I mean, I've technically made it through, I can just get killed now. But I'm gonna take as many of them as I can with me. Okay. Bring him on, baby. Bring him on. Sorry, Fido. But in the end, it has to be this way. Crap. I may have accidentally went with the triple coin ad by accident. Just clicking. Oh, and it has to do another ad. Don't you just love ads that are completely misrepresenting to the actual games? I mean, if you're gonna give me a weird ad like that, at least make it true to the game. Because if you actually download the game, it'll be something completely different. As it tends to be. Chainsaw zombie after jumping an object. Kill five zombies with a chainsaw, reach 2,000 meters in one go. I mean, th those don't seem too bad. The, the hardest one will be killing a zombie right after jumping something because they're not always going to be right after the fence, are they? Yeah, 2,000 in one go, I've already done that, so... Not like that's going to be too hard, is it? Okay, Fido. Let's mint some zombies. Or shoot some zombies, I guess. Because I got a revolver. You feeling lucky? What do you, punk? Hey, punk, I asked you a question. Too bad that doesn't apply to all weapons. Because otherwise I probably would have gotten it then and there. It seems if you do it just right, you kill them in one shot. Or maybe it's random. It's hard to tell. It's hard to tell sometimes if something is based off of ability or if it's just random luck, you know? Okay, good boy. Man, it would have been so great if I had... Okay, it doesn't matter anyway. I gotta say, if it was a chainsaw, it would have been great if I had picked it up before the fence. Oh boy. I'm not gonna make it to that weapon supply crate, may as well give up on that. At least I can make it to 2,000. Hopefully. Oh crap, I'm not gonna make it through there, am I? Somehow I made it! Go on, Fido. Make it a little easier for me, why don't you? Okay, thank you. That, w that probably would have been my death, had it not been for Fido. So this is an example where the perk pays for itself. 
Thanks, Fido. I have yet to get the chainsaw once, so it's gonna be a little hard to do that perk. It hadn't occurred to me that you get weapons at random, so you might not even even see a chainsaw for a while. Real damn shame, isn't it? And I get the shotgun. Normally I'd love to see a shotgun in first-person shooters. Or even in a first-person running game, really. But in this case... I'm kind of trying to go for something here. Okay, come on, be a chainsaw. Thank you. Oh boy. And I got empty. At least I killed five with a chainsaw. Even though the fence thing is not going to be a possibility. Oh crap. Uh, that was a close one. I just glanced off of one. Come on, Fido. Seriously, Fido. You had the chance to kill one of them that was blocking my path, but then you didn't. I blame you, Fido. You killed your master. Are you proud of yourself? Anyway, I think I'm just going to leave this here. Not, not too bad. But anyway, that's going to have to be it for now. Thank you so much for tuning in with me. Make sure to spread this video around like ripping and tearing, and I will see you next time. Then go out there and capitalize on life. Peace out, have a good one, and have a nice and very pleasant day. Now I'm just going to let it play for a little bit just to make sure everything is in sync. See you later. If you like what you saw, you can find more of that in these videos right here. If you're a real junkie for video games like I am, then subscribe and hit that bell icon if you haven't already to get your next fix, and a like and a comment are always appreciated too.